Listen, I know most of you don't think that the Cowboys can win, and that's okay. But if there's some of you guys who have hope, this video is for you. Five things that the Cowboys defense has to do to Brock Purdy, Kyle Shanahan, and that offense that has given us hell for years. This game reminds me so much of Pittsburgh where nobody's going to give Dallas a chance. But I got hope. It's just how I'm wired. Let's rock. Let's go. Let's go. It's game week, baby. Come on now. Yo, what's going on, Cowboys fans? It's your boy, Fuster the King, as always. Thank you all for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I got notes. It's that time of the week. I feel good, man. It was a bye week. I know it's doom and gloom. I know Jerry Jones is talking about Mike McCarthy's play calling. Mike, put your big boy pants on. It is what it is. You signed up for this. So when times get hard, you have to rally the troops. That's what a good coach does. I have to do it with my kids. It is what it is. Like, I've been coaching for a long time. When we're flat, when we're not playing well, you have to find something. I think that Mike McCarthy will. I think that he has the leaders in place on his team to do so. If he doesn't and we don't win another game, I'll still be trying to figure out ways to make it work. The guy has been 12-5. and five. If he gets fired and once he gets fired, whatever happens, then we'll talk about that then. But right now, in season, I want to figure out ways to win. And that's what I did with this video. Five ways that the Cowboys' defense needs to attack Brock Purdy, the great Kyle Shanahan, that great play call that he is. He is a really good play caller. But I think the Cowboys actually do have some advantages, and I'll talk about them here. But before I do, Bet US, Bet US. Thank you, Bet US, for sponsoring this video. The Cowboys are four point dogs. I will play that line in a heartbeat. The truth is, San Fran is beat up. <laughs> San Fran is hurt. And I'm going to talk about this in the video. But that's also a betting advantage. And I think that that line will move even more because even at home, and they were favored last week, Kansas City didn't really play that great. And Kansas City really had control of the game the whole game. And so as I talk about that, I just want you guys to know BetUS has all your betting needs. It's Thursday Night Football on tomorrow. Make sure you guys tap in with BetUS. They will take care of you. They do great work over there. NBA is back, and I'm a huge NBA fan as well. So NBA, the, the Yankees are in the, in the, um, in the World Series. BetUS, BetUS will take any play you want. BetUS has it. So make sure you guys tap in with them. Like I said, four-point dog for the Cowboys. I'm playing that in a heartbeat. Even on the road. Actually, the Cowboys are 3-0 and on the road. I like them away from Jerry World. Now, let's talk about the schematical football, non minutia I'm not talking about tours and, and, and fake clickbait ESPN articles. I'm not doing any of that. I want to talk about schematical and football things that the Cowboys can do to win this game. This game reminds me of Pittsburgh so much because nobody is going to give the Cowboys a chance, and they shouldn't. The Cowboys right now are mid. Literally middle of the pack, literally three and three. But I do see some holes in the 49ers chink, like in there, in the some chinks in that armor, some kinks in that armor, whatever it is. What's the saying? Y'all know the saying. Y'all help me out. That the Cowboys can attack. They can attack this 49ers offense. And one of the things that I noticed is, and we'll get right to it, when you give Brock Purdy man coverage, he struggles. Here's what I wrote down. Versus man, he was 5 of 14 for 80 yards, three interceptions. Not to mention, he had a 41-yard completion to Kittle. If he didn't have that completion, it would have been worse. Brock Purdy was not good versus man coverage. I also went back and watched the Arizona Cardinals game. The Cardinals played a lot of man, throwing Brock Purdy's timing off. Brock Purdy reminds me of that SpongeBob episode where everybody, like he had offices in his brain. And, and once things started going haywire, he started going haywire. Then once they put everybody back in their files and all this in his brain, he was able to get back on track. Like the thing about having a play caller like Mike Shanahan, he's to the T. He, he it literally is to the T. He, it, the, the, the depth of the, of the routes, uh, the, the fake, the steps, he wants it done to perfection, period. Has to be done to, to perfection. If it's not done to perfection, Kyle, I'm sure, I might have said Mike Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan will make him run it over again in practice. And, but the thing is, like, if you watch that first interception, it literally looks like they rehearsed that play over and over again. And because they got a, a maybe a certain look and the Spags changed it up on the back end, it was like, oh, crap, I'm going to throw it anyway. I'm not even reading that middle field safety coming down and robbing me. Boom, interception read. So it's like, 
these are the things that when you get a play caller like this and you have a Purdy who a Purdy, I like Purdy. Like Purdy is wildly overachieved. But the, there he was a seventh round pick for a reason. And some of the processing, he's having issues with that. And I think man covers. Zimmer has to lean in on man covers. Number two, you have to change the look. Give him exotic looks. One of the things that one of the things that Spags did very well, and even Jim Schwartz did last year, they changed the look. It was man, and they would drop eight. It was zone, and they would get in their face, get in their personal space. You have to do some of those things. Brian Flores, two years in a row, has made San Francisco look silly. Now, he's done that to a lot of OCs, but it's because he changes the looks. He doesn't give you he doesn't give you the, the, a perfect pitcher, and that's – if you're just going to go play four down linemen, play your regular base personnel, Kyle Shanahan's going to eat you up because it goes back to my first point. He wants the – if he has the pitcher, Kyle has you. When you start changing things up, when you start mugging, when you start doing certain things to mess up his blocking schemes, Kyle, he gets haywire as well. So I think that the Cowboys have, and Zimmer has to change the looks. He has to do certain things. I want to see how he uses the Marvin Overshone this weekend. Yes, we need Micah to play. Yes, we need um, Eric Kendricks to play. In it. And I'm hearing that Eric Kendricks is, 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 is on the right track. We don't know about Micah yet. We don't know about Bland yet. They're kind of keeping that. And I think some of that is gamesmanship. I would like to see Micah play. He's been out for a while now. I would like to see Michael play, but we'll see. We don't know about Bland. But even so, with the injuries that they have, I think the Cowboys, if they play their brand of football, can win this game. Which is if they play a good brand of football, they can win this game. Number three, nobody felt sorry for you last week when you were missing. I mean, you were down to your fourth DN, right? And you got 40 put on your head. It is what it is. Ben Johnson didn't care. I want the Cowboys to understand this. No C-Mac, possibly no Jawan Jennings, absolutely no Brandon Ayuk, who I think that Brandon Ayuk is really the glue to this offense because those deep digs, those deep overs, those big overs, those big seam shots, that's what Ayuk does so well. And, like, if you don't have that, that's where, again, Purdy starts to go. He doesn't have what he needs. No Ayuk, possibly no Debo, and, you know, you hate to hear about the pneumonia thing, because that's nothing to play with fluid in the lungs. That's definitely nothing to play with. I mean, his body is probably extremely weak right now. But, again, it's the National Football League. Nobody felt sorry that Sam Williams was out. Nobody felt sorry that Marshawn Nealon is out. They went out and they put 40 on you. I want the Cowboys to understand this. Go step on their neck. Go score first and step on their neck and make them play from behind. I think the Cowboys can do that, and I think the Cowboys will win this game. Number four, man, you have to get pressure. And so I, I said this early, this will be a perfect game. I don't care if they know. I don't care how many times they've seen it. This will be a perfect game to get that double A going. Whoever you want to use, if you want to use Maris, if you want to use, um, I was about to say Neyland, if you want to use Overshone, if you want to use Kendricks, get that double A going and then get out of there. Get that double A going and rush. Do whatever you need to get Brock Purdy off his spot, get him being antsy, get him throwing the ball to you, because he will. He's shown that he will. And I think the Cowboys have to do that. If you don't get pressure, if you can't just you can't just line up and put Michael on McKivitz, which I would love to. If Mike is playing, this changes everything. Because if Mike is playing, you line him up on McKivitz, you have an advantage. You rush him up the A, you have an advantage. But if he's not playing, you still need to come in with that mindset like, I want to get pressure. Hell, blitz Jordan Lewis. Jordan Lewis has probably been your best defender all year. Blitz him. All right? These corners are going to have to hold up against – Freaking Jacob Cohen, Ricky Pearsall, and Ronnie Bell. They can't win against those guys. They don't need to be in the NFL. They really don't. So number four, get pressure. Number five, guys, this is very important to me. This is one that I say, just the whole fan base, stop panicking. Zimmer don't panic. Fan base don't panic. You're three and three. So in game, if Kyle hits a big play, this is if any Cowboys fan, and if, if y'all get this to the players, don't panic play football and I, I don't think that they do but I think the Cowboys need to understand it they're they still have a great roster they still have a good team it's a little top heavy but they still have players on this team that can attack this team right this this 49ers team especially how they are right now they're beat up so I think that if the Cowboys go out there and do these five things the big one is not panic because Kyle Shanahan is too good of a play caller he's gonna find something but as long as you play chess, Mike Zimmer, I think that the Cowboys will be fine. One of the things that Spags did in that game, and they had a late interception. They had been showing man, showing man, showing man. They drop eight. Purdy throws you the ball in the red zone. Just threw it right to you. Because the pressure that he had been getting 
it 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 confused them. And then out of nowhere, boom, pick. So I think that if the Cowboys are able to lean in on some of these things, I think the Cowboys can win this game. I got the Cowboys winning 27-20. I just feel good. You guys let me know what you think. Please, guys, continue to like, share, and subscribe. More content coming to you this week. As always, man, I can't do this without you. I know how we feel right now. I know it's crazy. I know Jerry, 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 Jerry. I don't get into all that. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Peace.